we will now consider some of the general characteristics of human behavior as described by parmeswaran and bina 1988 2002 Uh, behavior is influenced by a number of factors uh, first is biological so you will often hear the phrase in psychology is it nature or nurture biological factors such as chromosomes hormones genes gender and even brain size all have a significant influence on human behavior The biological approach believes that most behavior is inherited and has an adaptive or evolutionary function. For example, in the weeks immediately after the birth of a child, the levels of testosterone in fathers drop by more than 30%. This has an evolutionary function. Testosterone deprived men are less likely to wander off in search of new mates. they are also less aggressive which is useful when there is a baby around the fields associated are biopsychology or physiological psychology the next is cultural the culture impacts behavior a lot so for example in indian culture it is insulting and inauspicious to hand anything with your left hand tax that you place on gifts or marriage invitations should not use red ink there are some cultures and religions which have high uncertainty avoidance index compared to the others uncertainty avoidance is basically how cultures differ on the amount of tolerance they have of unpredictability in some cultures funerals are attended in black clothes while in while it is very offensive in other cultures in some cultures collectivism is given importance meaning that each person is raised with an expectation that we will contribute to the group it affects the way they behave because in these cultures friends are expected to be invited in all the family functions whereas in other cultures especially in the west individualism is given importance meaning kids are raised to be more self-reliant self-sufficient and independent the friendships will be a bit more distant so if an indian guy finds himself in us or uk he would not find the friendship he is looking for and may believe for years that nobody wants to be friends with him so the next is social uh you'll have to first understand what is conformity so a change in behavior or attitudes brought by a desire to follow the beliefs or standards of other people if you are a part of audience and everyone starts clapping you get compelled to clap along so you see how your social surrounding changes your behavior this is a very simple example In the west a total stranger can come and talk to you however it is very hard to imagine in some of the eastern countries like india the next factor is environmental ever heard of the proverb you are the average of five people you surround yourself with so if your friend is obese that is to say overweight or a friend of a friend is obese that changes your perception of what is an acceptable body size and your behavior changes accordingly according to a research if a friend of yours becomes obese you yourself are 45% more likely to gain weight over the next 2 to 4 years more surprisingly even if a friend of your friend becomes obese your likelihood of gaining weight increases by about 20% even if you don't know that friend of a friend the next factor is past experience simplest example is if you have been cheated in the past you become more guarded in your new relationships a more extreme example is a girl whose father abandoned her and her mother may have formed a belief that men cannot be trusted so as an adult she might find it very hard to trust any man and may have problems forming an intimate relationship with guys a boy who always felt financially insecure as a child because his parents always worried about money may develop a strong need to become rich 
In fact, if you interview gym addicts, you will find that most of them were either bullied as kids or were involved in a physical fight before. Very few do it just to improve their body image. The next factor is motivational. So motivation is a process that initiates, guides and maintains goal-oriented behaviors. It is what causes you to act whether it is getting a glass of water to reduce thirst or reading a book to gain knowledge. The next factor is emotional. There are several basic human drives that impacts behavior like fear, cleanliness and love. In fact, when an emotion is triggered in your brain, your nervous system responds by creating feelings in your body which are also called gut feeling which in turn create certain thoughts in your mind that affects your decisions. The last is cognition. So the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience and the senses is called cognition. Learning is an example of cognition. The way our brain makes connection as we learn concepts in different ways to remember what we have learned. Our ability to reason through logic is also a prime example of cognition. Now, behavior can also be characterized as simple, medium or complex. So behavior can be as simple as picking up a pen, waving a friend or reflex responses like sneezing etc. And some other behaviors involve complex activities like repairing a car, activities such as landing on the moon flying a fighter plane, rock climbing, etc. are some of the examples of highly complex behavior. If you are interested to join a community of like-minded people, check out the link in the description of our telegram group. Thank you.